Nigeria has the highest number of kids, uh, highest number of people with uh, sickle cell disease in the world. Uh, we have over 4 million. And every year, 150,000 are being born. 50 to 75% of them that are being born will die before their fifth birthday. Most of them will not survive their 30th birthday. So we're talking about a huge number of kids with mortality. And not just the fact that they're dying, but the fact that they're each day, they're living with severe pain, crippling pain sometimes, crippling fatigue, unable to go to school. And I think the worst thing of all, Mary, is that these kids are living with, it's almost like a death sentence over, hanging over them. You are not going to survive past the age of 30. The doctors tell them that, the family members sort of tell them that, their community sort of tells them that, everybody looks at them with pity, and you have, they have to live with this day in, day out. And to me, that was just unacceptable. So we decided to look into it. Uh, like I said, they, they came to us because I had multiple strokes and I dove into it, uh, both hands, both feet, head first, to see what we could do about it. And uh, we found out that we could do something about it. Um, uh, for pennies on the dollar, quite frankly. Uh, I know right now the, the, a couple of drugs have come out in the U.S. Uh, worth $100,000 a pop per year to treat a child with sickle cell disease. Well, that's $100,000 more than most Nigerians can afford. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in, including middle-income middle, in, middle income, uh, Nigerians. So it's not going to work. So we thought, well, let's look at what we can do to make sure that that can can be addressed. And we found out that there was things that we could do. I mean, and there were simple nutrients that, um, I mean, quite frankly, these are some, some of these things are things you can go to any pharmacy, any chemist and pick them up. You just need to know how to use them, how, what the dose should be and when to give it to them. So the whole goal now is we want to reproduce the results we're getting in, uh, that we've been getting in our hospital or clinic for the past, uh, uh, I believe, five years now, we want that same, just those same results to be reproduced in government hospitals. And the goal being that other doctors, other healthcare professionals treat sickle cell disease patients um, with that same approach so that we can at least, at least minimize the damage and minimize the loss that many of these families face each year. So Doctor, when, when you talk 